Hello friends, this video on Ray Optics part 29 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 28 before going ahead with part 29. Now let us look at the sign convention for lens. I will just show you four scenarios which will clear, uh, clear out the concept for the convention which we follow regarding sign in case of a lens. So let us first look at a convex lens. So this is a convex lens. Let us suppose we have an object here. This is my optical center O. So a ray of light from the object after refraction it goes and cuts it here. So here we get the image. Right? So now what would be the sign for image object distance, image distance, focal length and radius of curvatures. So what will be the image distance, uh, I'm sorry, object distance? The object lies towards the left. That means it is, op this is the direction of the incident ray. So the incident ray is moving in this direction, right? So we are measuring the distance of the object from optical center, which is in this direction. So it is opposite to the direction of incident ray. So it would be negative. What about the image distance? Image distance we are measuring towards this direction which is along the same direction as incident ray. So it would be positive. What would be the focus? Focus when we talk about, we talk about the second focal point. That means the point where the ray of light converge after refraction. So we saw that in case of a convex lens, the ray of light, this is how it happens. In case of a convex lens, the ray of light after reflection, refraction, they meet at this point. So the focal point lies along this direction. So the focal point will be positive. What would be R1? Let us assume this is 1, this surface is 2. So R1 is the radius for this spherical surface. So its radius will lie somewhere on this side. Similarly, R2 will lie somewhere on this side. Right? So R1 would be positive and R2 would be negative. Correct? Okay. So now let us look at a concave lens. So in case of concave lens also, let us assume this surface as surface 1, this as surface 2. Let us say this is some object O. A ray of light falls on this lens and then it gets diverged. Right? So the point where it is it virtually meets the principal axis, the image is formed there. Right? So in this case, what happens? U, V, F, R1 and R2. So in this case, the object distance. So here also the direction of incident ray is this. So U is opposite to the direction of incident ray, so negative. V is again opposite to the direction of incident ray, so negative. Focus. What happens in case of a concave mirror? In case of a concave mirror, ray of light parallel gets diverged, but they seem to appear, they seem to meet at this point. So the focus lies along the left hand side. So the focus in case of a convex lens is a concave lens is again negative. What about R1? R1 is this surface. So the radius for this spherical surface will lie somewhere on this side. And the radius for this spherical surface R2 will lie somewhere on this side. So here R1 is negative and R2 is positive. Right? So here I am just giving you the sign convention for different types of lenses so that you do not get confused while solving problems. Now let us look at a convex lens again such that the ray of light that is coming from some infinite object. So let us suppose some ray of light is coming this way. It falls on the lens and after refraction it meets the principal axis here. So in this case where is, where is the object? We join it virtually and we see that it looks like that the object would have been somewhere here. So in this case, what would be the sign convention? U, V, F, 
R1 and R2. In this case, the distance of the object, the object is located on this side, so it would be positive because here also the direction of the incident ray is this. Distance of the image is again positive, focal length is positive, R1 if we call this as 1 and this as 2, so R1 will be positive and R2 will be negative, right? Because R2 will lie somewhere here and R1 will lie somewhere here, right? Okay, now let us look at this convex concave lens. Here, this is a concave surface and this is a convex surface, right? So, let us look at this convex concave lens, convex or concave lens, okay? So, in this case, let us assume that the object lies somewhere here. So, what happens when the ray goes here? It gets diverted in this way. So we can extrapolate it and we can say that an image will be formed somewhere here. So in this case, what would be the sign convention for each of these values? What is u? The direction of incident ray is the same. So u will be negative. V will also be negative. What would be focal length in this case? Because it is neither a convex lens nor a concave lens. But if you look at it, the radius of curvature of the convex lens will lie in this direction. Similarly, the radius of curvature of the concave lens will also lie somewhere around this direction. Let me call this as 1, this as 2. So if this is R1, this should be R2. So R1 is greater than R2, right? Both are positive. So R1 and R2, both are positive and if we see R1 is greater than R2. So that means the convex lens is dominating here, right? Because it has more radius of curvature. So what will happen when the parallel rays of light will come here, instead of diverging, they will get converged at a point. So therefore, since the convex lens is dominating here, therefore the focus here will be positive. But if the concave lens would have had greater radius of curvature in that case, the focal length would have been negative. So in this case, the focal length will be positive. So this is how we decide about the sign convention for different, com different types of lenses. Also, you can, uh, if you want, you can uh, study about the image formation by lenses for objects located at different points. We have already discussed that in the case of spherical mirrors, the rules will still be the same and using the same logic and same concepts you can try out to find out the position and the nature of the image formed by a different location of objects in front of the lens. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.